This is Caesar's Gallic Wars, section one, sentence number four in the red binder. Find it on page four, lines twelve through fourteen. Qua de causa, helvetii quoque, reliquos gallos virtute praecedunt. Quod fere quotidianis, proelis cum germanis contendunt. Cum aut suis finibus eos prohibent, aut ipsi in eorum finibus bellum gerunt. So quande causa, basically this whole little phrase here, translates as, for this reason. And this day, for some, well, let's see, we'll do a switcheroo sign here. These should be switched around, but Latin does that from time to time. They sometimes put the preposition between the adjective and the noun instead of over here to the left. For this reason, the Helvetians also um, outperform the other Gauls in courage. And this is an ablative of specification. Yeah, what do you think I make these ablatives up? There it is, ablative of specification. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I'm promising you, it's true. Ablative of specification. Um, direct object here, okay. And so if you look down here at the first question, what's the subject and the object of Prycadent? So here is subject, plural, plural, right? And the object would be the gallows object there. All right, so that answers that first question down there. Uh, subject is helwetii. Object is gallows. All right. Because. And I know it looks like the... Uh, <coughs> relative pronoun, but it isn't, because almost. Little adverb there, and it's modifying this adjective. In almost daily battles, they contend with the Germans. They fight with the Germans. Okay, makes sense. And this is like an ablative of means. Could be specification. You can see how all these ablatives kind of blend together. When, either, they stop, they push them out of their own territory, or they themselves wage war in those people's territory. Now this is a kind of a tricky one in English, although it's clear in Latin. First of all, I do want to point out these two cums. Cum. So this one is cum plus the ablative. It means with. That's a completely different word from this one. This one means when, and it goes with the verb here. So it's making a little bracket. When they stop them from their territory. And look at this. Out. Going with out. This is correlative. Love the correlatives. Nice balance in there. When either this or that, either or. Either they keep them out of their own territory or they wage war in their territory. So this is reflexive, whereas this is just the personal pronoun. Very different. So this one refers to uh, let's see. This refers to the Germans, the Germani. And this one, this suis, refers to the Helwetii. So in this case, they're defending their territory. In this case, they're making an offensive move into the German territory. All right, let's take a look. Oh, nice little idiom here, Bellum Garant. Wage war, wage war. We'll see that a lot in Caesar, of course. 
So we've got that one. Case number and gender of the proilase. This is going to be the ablative plural neuter. Proileum proilei is neuter. Cum Germanis means with the Germans, but cum prohibent means when they stop them. So two completely different meanings. It's just a similar spelling, but they're different words. Case number gender of aorum, of course, genitive plural masculine. Who are these people? The Helvetii, the Gallos, and the Germanis. So the Gallos are like, let's do a little Venn diagram here. The Gallos, the Galli, the Gauls, and then Helvetii and Germani. Okay, these Helvetii and Germani do not intersect but they are part of the superset of Gali. And there are other Gauls too, like the Belgae and so forth, the Idui. So that's who they are. They roughly correspond to um, Swiss, people who live around Lake Lemaine, Gauls, generally Europeans, and these people really did live in the territory of Germany.